Hi everyone, Mature Simmer here. So, continuing the Mariah's Pass series, Scenario 24, Return to Whitefish Part 3. Surprise, surprise. So we're in Blackfoot. It's telling us the crew in Blackfoot added the empty cement hopper wagons to your consist, and your next stop, while eastbound traffic passes, will be in Grizzly. It's about 30 minutes long. All right, so we're here on return to Whitefish. Okay, 7293, you're all set. Thanks, and drive safe. You guys have a straight shot to Grizzly. I called in a helper from Meriwether. Proceed when clear. So let's just take a quick look. Just got three steps. Not quite sure what that's going to be. All right, so right now someone's coming. So I guess we need to wait at this point. So obviously it's a single track, so I'll hold here. And we'll see what happens. Again, I don't recall if these are... Um, So let's see, where are we? Center player. Oh, we're not even anywhere near here. Okay. So we're there. They're coming. But obviously they need to go somewhere. Alright, so they're heading off there. Obviously though, that probably changes. It's interesting, how did they do that? Hmm. I can't switch these. Yeah, it's green on that line. All right, so now it says I'm green here. So, yeah, green. Yellow, so I, I guess I'm all right. Okay. Because that's clearly green. Let's get ourselves engaged, get moving. Let the brakes drop off. So yeah, I think these are all automatic switches. Yeah, now we're now that little side signal is red because obviously now we're here. Yeah, it's like as soon as you move up to 13, it the speed just jumps. So if I'm close, it can be a problem. Just make sure. Okay, looks like we're all set. We're good. Speed up a bit. Again, until that back end comes off the siding, we're not going to be able to go quicker. A little over five miles to the first location. This shouldn't be too terribly bad. Again, it's only half an hour, so I'm assuming we're just we're going under 10 miles. Could be very wrong. See what I mean? I was at 15.3 and just up and down got me to 15.7. So it's like if I do that when I'm close, as we'll see here, when it hits 15, I'll move it again. All right, well, that was more reasonable. Maybe the power was high enough that when I flipped it on, all right, we are still We've got more than half the train off, but there's a good amount still left there. 
Ah, so we do have a helper already. Didn't realize that that was on there. But that's always a good thing if we need it. going around the turn. Alright, so he is coming off here. We'll see how that goes. We'll have to get past that switch point there. There we go. Now we can go 60. So let's head back here. Engine will be steaming up. That one is too, so we're all pushing together. All right. So four and a half miles or so, but that's just the first junction. I'll have a little bit of dancing rendering or something where these are now at least relatively solid. Alright, so it looks like Browning is in that direction. Almost directly where we're going, but it looks like we're going to be turning a few times here. Just a lot of scrub, grassland right now, not wheat fields like we had been passing through for a bit. But definitely yeah, moving along. Can still kind of see where we took off from, but it's fading out, that's for sure. And these roads can get dangerous because there's no crossing gates or anything, so if drivers aren't paying attention, it can be a problem, that is for sure. Alright, well, we continue to turn to the left, even though the town was kind of in front of us, so I'm assuming there's going to be some sweeping turn back at some point, but maybe not. Maybe I'm just a little bit turned around. Who knows? But I'm sure we'll have to do some yard work on the way back at some point right now. Obviously these last few scenarios have just been driving the train trying to avoid speeding, which I can't seem to do, no matter what I do. I mean, I guess if I'm ultra, ultra careful, I won't have to fall, fall victim to those strange quirks of barely turn on the accelerator to 13, or the power to 13, and suddenly jump up half a mile an hour in almost an instant. see it's sweeping back to the right. It's just how sweeping will it be, right? But yeah, now we're down to getting up to two miles. I'm thinking by the time we hit that turn, it'll be below two, the, the turn to the right. Obviously we're starting to hit a turn now, but that's not the one I meant. But obviously, unless I tell you specifically, you don't really know. percent grade, so we're climbing. You can see it's like they, they kind of have built up the ground underneath the rails here to, again, I'm sure, 
allow a reasonable grade versus being really shallow and then suddenly we have to climb now. Who knows how they determine all that, but obviously somebody did. And that's what we're doing, so now we're sweeping back here. So I'm guessing all the places I've been speculating, oh, we're headed there, that's where the pass is, may not even be where we're headed. Because, yeah, we could be, but, like, what I was pointing at was more here, and now it's almost like we're tailing away from that. So, who knows? All right, 1.1 miles, so... And this, again, is just a via. It's not where we're stopping. So we could have another five, six miles on the other end. Who knows? We will in less than a mile. All right. I can only be going 50, but I'm not sure I'll even get to that before I hit there. I am accelerating a bit, but... Just keep an eye on it. It's possible we're going to be going downhill or something. I don't know. But yeah, I'm guessing it's that switch there. And going from a single track down over to the double. It's just making that connection. Still climbing. We're at 49, so I'll leave things alone. We are speeding up, but not enough to really matter. But yep, now we're in the 50 range. I'm not quite sure what happens after that. Maybe a really sharp turn to the right. But wow, we've got almost 10 miles, so via spotted robe. So 15, 16 miles in this scenario, at least. So, if nothing else, this is a long line. Alright, we're at a 1.3% grade, so... This is definitely... gonna get our locomotive's attention. Now we're falling back to nothing, though. Doesn't look like that on my visual, though. It looks like we're still climbing. But maybe around this turn, they flattened it out, and then it'll quickly go back up in grade. And there we go again. Just have to be careful because we're right up there against 50. But I'm thinking once a lot of this train gets onto the hill, we're not going to be accelerating at the pace we were. Alright, so there's a Browning station. So yeah, I haven't backed off. Looks like just a lo couple locomotives moving over. Not pulling anything. Uh, I was I saw what was happening and then didn't react fast enough. Just a challenge always, and some of it is you know pushing the speed a bit and. Yeah, I don't understand how it started to speed up really quick there. Because we still had a pretty good grade. So It makes no sense to me. Well, now we are, like, headed way back. Interesting. Because obviously the tracks need to go like where they need to connect to things, so I'm sure if they were near a community, they veered the track over so that they could do some of the work like they are here. Oh, there's someone on those containers probably guiding that crane to, and ultimately hooking it up to the top. I kind of remember these walls that I, w I think I was assuming kind of keep the snow off the tracks or something. 
Okay, well they look like walls, and now they're suddenly going away. I don't understand what I'm seeing, but I guess as we come around the turn, no, they're definitely fences again. But I'm thinking due to the probably the way the wind normally blows across here and everything, it's some sort of a barrier to stop the tracks from getting overwhelmed with snow. Bang my microphone again, sorry. But yeah, this is almost... I don't know that it's really 180 degrees, but it's pretty close. And this again, I'm sure, is to get me to the bridge in a reasonable grade, because even at this it's 1.1%. So... And this is built up quite a bit, and you can see then it drops down really fast, so my guess is the grade was pretty steep otherwise if they didn't make this large turn here. And then we'll head under that bridge and we'll see what we see on the other side. So, yeah, a lot of switchback. Again, I'm sure to do with grading and to do it well and properly. Alright, so we're going through a little bit of a cutout through the hillside there. Getting closer, getting closer to the mountains for sure. So I'm heading through this little gap. I'm guessing they blasted this out. But I'm not quite sure how they choose to construct those. Maybe it was guys with pickaxes when it got done. Who knows? Alright, and then we'll be sweeping off to the right. So again, maybe there is where we're headed. But I do not know, ultimately, where we're going to to land overall when we get there. And it may not again be this scenario. We keep getting closer, but we're going a lot of miles and still not getting there. And that's just the nature of mountains as you're approaching them, driving or, or however. You can see them for a long time before you're in them because they're big. Then we're going there, so it's like, I don't know, maybe we're going all the way around the range. Obviously we go through a pass at some point, and we know coming the other way, somewhere, we get inside the mountains. But right now, we are kind of floating all over the, the area here. Still 1%. Looks like we are just meandering, so we're still heading in that general direction. Because, yeah, when we were coming the other way, obviously we weren't 
it wasn't as dramatic because we were just dropping down to the plains. We were looking this way. Now we're looking the other way. But yeah, the question is, do we go around here? It's all interesting now that I sit here and watch this. To just kind of wonder how it's all going to play out. say we had dropped down to a really small grade for a second, but now we're back up to 0.9. Um, we are accelerating, even though we've got that heavy grade. So, we drop down here. Another cut we've got to get through. Yeah, I don't think we're going there. That looks like it'll be way too steep. So maybe we're just going to keep skirting along the range here. Who knows? like a little town here. Get ourselves up to 75. Looks like maybe that'll get us somewhere. And again, after spotted robe, don't know exactly how far, but this, you know, will be about 15 miles that we've we've made once we get there. And then we'll see. Will this be another 20 plus mile scenario or not? There we go. Trees popping up. Take this to a hundred. All right, one point something miles. We've got a signal, and then there we go. Is the spotted rope main? Nice water. So I'm thinking around the curve we'll be able to see where that is. Because obviously we're running out of track. This is a single threaded track through here. This is a pretty, pretty sweeping turn. You know, I can't go into the ground here, but that hill there, I think, is what I was wondering about. But there we go. There's our signal. Doesn't look like anything's nearby. Alright, that goes red. 0.2 miles, and then we're going to get another piece of the leg here and see what we've got left for our last segment. We need to hold the Grizzly Main 1 to let a few eastbound trains come through. Alright, so a little under 4 miles. And I would imagine with these things like that, that yeah, what they may do is just have all the one, their trains in one direction hold, run three or four trains through, but then you're waiting all that time for what we just traversed through. 
so that may be what we're running into as well as we've got to stop at Grizzly Main because we're going back down to single track again for a while. But yeah, trying to move along and again fully fully on the throttle, but struggling against the grade. I have no idea where we're ultimately going to end up. There's definitely a lot, a lot going on. But really nice view, and we've certainly got some bigger hills now. Too, so this is definitely getting steep as we're coming along. Here comes one of those eastbound trains. All right. So, yeah, sorry. I, not a lot to chat about. I'm just kind of enjoying the view waiting for something to come up and watching that train come over the hill you can clearly see that there's a change in grades so I think we flatten out for a bit once we get up there whether it's all the way to Grizzly or not I don't know at this point I, I don't know where we're gonna head into these mountains but it doesn't matter we're gonna follow the rails wherever they take us this point yeah we're just kind of cresting that that hill although it still says we're at one percent so um, all right let me drop this down because I have to be at 40 over there and now it looks like we are going downhill. So that can change very, very quickly. So we know how that went. We were doing a lot of that the other direction. Alright, so this slows us down a bit. There we go, 40. Got less than a mile, so I'm guessing Grizzly Maine is just sitting out there somewhere, just maybe past the next signal. Alright, I'm going to drop this back a bit, see if it does speed up. Strangely, it is not, even though we're th supposedly going down a 1% grade. Now it is. Alright, so there is, I think, where we need to stop. And yeah, you can see it's falling back down to a single track. So, so they're going to hold us there. I'm going to start slowing down so that, again, I'd rather creep up than run. Oh boy run the risk that appears that I'm feeling I'm going to run of just going too far. But now I think, I think I've salvaged it. Alright, that worked out better than I thought. But yeah, now we need to creep up again. We've got our handy dandy friend sitting where I think we need to wait. So I think if I stop now, it's too early.
but yeah, we'll be waiting, and then obviously it'll be our turn, I assume, in the next scenario, so... So, smoke kind of creeping up there. There we go. We'll get this kind of done. Might be too early still, but we'll see. Yep, it is. So, let me creep up there a bit. I think I gotta hit this trigger, so. Not there yet. It's like once you engage the brake, though, it's it's kind of right there. So, all right. So now I'll be good, and we'll hold here, and that should work. There we go. So just had to get right there, and there we wait. So, getting close. You know, the mountains are right there now. Um, I'm assuming next scenario will be in there. Hey, while you wait for eastbound traffic to pass, can you run back and check the chutes on those cement hoppers and make sure they are secure? Thanks. Up next, coming soon, Return to Whitefish Part 4. Scenario complete. All right. So did okay. We did not travel 44 miles. Something's off. But um, in any event, I'll see you next time.